Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. We are driving to Long Island. This is just the cutest thing ever. I feel like I'm starting all my vlogs off with Oakley, but I just can't help it because she's just the cutest thing in the world. Like she's so sleepy and so sweet. Ugh, love it. Except when we're driving through New York City and Jack is not a, <laughs> he needs both his hands at that point. Well, you always need both your hands when you're driving, but yeah, Oakley loves to sit with her father during these drives. Just got dark so quick. Anyways, we're going to Long Island to hang out with my cousin Angela, Uncle Dom, Louis, Anthony, all the whole gang. The whole gang's there. We're spending just tonight and leaving tomorrow, but on the way home, I think we're gonna stop at Costco or some sort of something that we don't have in the Hudson Valley, so. This vlog should be a fun one with my crazy Italians. Let's go. Made it! Finally here. Popping the Prosecco and the wine. Here. She's already coming with uh, brownies. We brought cake. We got everything. But this is Angela's new house. Dumb. Hi. I left it for a reason. Hi. Why'd you break the door? Because Nala wanted to come. Nala's he here too? You. What? He actually go you? Yeah. That you wanted to go. go grab a folding I said, Nala, do you want to go? And she ran to the oh, door. She always wants. <laughs> now let her out, because now she wants to go outside. Yeah, Wait, outside. Lacey, uh, not Lacey. Um, can she go out if she wants Yeah, to? she's fine. You can let her out. Uh, we covered the hole in the fence. There's no, there's no She's not going to go out there. She's <laughs> so scared. There is hawks, actually. Not Everyone is so scared that Oakley's gonna get eaten by a hawk. I can't look at him. Immediately comes in and is eating food. Hi, Louie. You want to say hi to the vlog? No. No. <laughs> right now we're reminiscing on Louie's Air Force graduation. Look at this photo of us from forever and a half ago. This is in San Antonio. Louie was so sick this day. Do you remember that day? That was a long time ago. I took How the old are you? I took my friend. 18 or 19? 18 and or 19. In this family, we're having like 10 different conversations. They're chatting, we're chatting, what we're chatting. These? What about these? Like, oh my gosh. Yeah. sneaking into the museum. <laughs> <laughs> we snuck into a wax museum in San Antonio, my cousin Angela and I. Oh my god, wait, is that Oprah? <laughs> yeah, wait, that's you a too. Oh my gosh, my dad. Look how young my dad looks. Oh my goodness. He was really excited. So funny. Was like, Wait, I want that like skinny arm of mine. Oh, oh, we wear matching dresses. We did. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. We wear matching dresses. So cute. And then that was my mom's dress, and you took it. I, no, I had, an, I had the same one. I don't know how we had matching ones. I don't remember either. We are having a grand old time right now, reminiscing on all the good old days when we were in San Antonio. You did not say no. You did not. Oh, you love me. I'm actually not going to show them the part of you opening the bridesmaid box because that's going to be in the next video. So, yeah, I have to wait. So Angela did. Re Angela received. Angela received the bridesmaid box first out of all the cousins. You can show the box. I'll let them. I'll let them see the box. It says, "Babe, will you be my bridesmaid?" But you're gonna see all the things coming up soon. In this probably the next vlog or so. I need to mail all the Florida ones out. What is this face? I know, I know. So when you guys see the next one, you'll understand. I'm just being funny. Obviously, my answer is yes. Holy shit! Yes, yes. But the reason is because none of the Florida cousins got it yet. So that's pretty cool. I got it first. I got it first. But, Angel, I know I she's know, gonna comment cool. in the group chat. I got it first. This is where we're at now. It's like midnight, and now cousin Anthony's here. <laughs> Guys, look at this setup. I love this. Angela outdid herself, and she even made little like ice cube roses for what are these champagnes mimosas, mimosas. why am i why am i dumb why couldn't i <laughs> she said jesus christ let me see yours the flowers melting love are you excited for new york bagels yeah <laughs> so these are egg everything bagels 
Let's go. Oh, I got you. Mm. I picked you over Jenna. Yeah, she, I said, she's like, what cream cheese do you want? I said, the chive cream cheese. And I said, Jack wants jalapeno. So, so guess I what picked she got? You over her. Jalapeno. Yeah, you guys are jalapeno. Thank you, Ange. Yeah. We're currently playing dress up for the dogs and show your shirt and the matching dog shirt. It's the little things in life, and that's the little thing. That's Lacey, Lacey here. over you here. Can try this on? I can't. Because Ziggy doesn't fit in this anymore either. <laughs> Wait, That's right. Nala. We have oh, the wait, whole crew here. What? All the cousins are together. This is a cool shirt. <laughs> well, I match with Jack's shirt. So. I Jack's? Oh yeah, I guess so. Kind it? of. Not really though. Zig looks like. It. Come here, bud. Ziggy. Right now. Come here. Come here right now. He's like, I'm not wearing clothes. Lacy. You want socks? Look at extra poofy. Wait, what does the butt say? It's not even this time of year. Oh my god, she feels so like stuffed animal-ish. Here, put socks on her. I potty with Santa. She's not gonna like the socks. Put socks on her. Not the socks. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's so good. Oakley Lee, with, Nala oh my Halloween. goodness. Nala's wearing Halloween. Nala the Halloween girlfriend. Oh, Nala. She don't like the socks. <laughs> All dogs get weird when you put socks on them. They're not used to it. Wait, but she's actually handling it like a champ. Hi, hey, pretty girl. <laughs> yeah, don't scratch my floors. <laughs> <laughs> so what's Ziggy got on? Got He's got Halloween and, <laughs> and Christmas. Wait, why did you take the front ones off? She took them off. Why are they all so good with clothes? Oakley literally would never. Oakley is in the corner being antisocial with her father. This one, this one I, I know fits him because he wore it this year. You filthy. I have a, I have an ugly sweater that matches that. I should give it to you. I, it literally says the same thing. All right, I got one paw. Oh, no, we're done. <laughs> we're done. She did not like that. Not a fan. Not a fan. We tried. These are so cute though. They would keep her little paws so warm. Yo. She is not having a good time with all these dogs right now. Last outfit. <laughs> he's so good with it. Like why are these dogs so, yeah, but he's taking it like a champ. Oh, wait. oh okay, I spoke too soon. <laughs> It makes it look fat. It's so tight. It this it is so bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah, but he's my little thing. Ziggy baby, it makes him look bad. you're a handsome. Where's his chain? Doesn't he have a he chain? Doesn't fit on him anymore. Oh my goodness, little thing. <laughs> he's like, nah. He is far from a little <laughs> thing. <Nah. laughs> Come here, my little thing. Come on. Come to mama. He's not moving. Yeah, he's not moving. He's over it. Y'all, I cannot with these two. Why do you spoil him like this? Wait, he has the best part. Oh, of course he can't be, a, he can't have sunlight, right? He has to be protected from the sun. That's your baby. Zig! Living his best life, this dog, I can't, too cool. Wow, I am not looking cute right now. We showered. <laughs> Now we're on the way to the outlet. It is like pouring out, but my cousins are watching Sweet Oakley. And now we are gonna have on a hunt to just get some more work shirts. And they have a White House black market outlet at these, or like the outlet store at the outlets by my cousins. So I'm hoping to go there. I'm also like kind of dying this morning. My allergies are so bad. I don't know if you can like see my eyes. I just, they've been like so itchy all day. I can barely breathe out of my nose. And I think it's just, a, I don't know if it's the weather or B, if it's the dogs, but there was every, every cousin's dog was at the house and it was great, but I am just not doing too hot right now. So need to pick up some Allegra. Um, I just want to walk around a little bit. We both have umbrellas, so we'll be good to go. And yeah, let's see if we find anything cute. If I do, I will vlog it as I go. Now we are on our way home from the outlets. We stopped at Uncle Dom's house and as always, it's quite a party there. Got yeah, prosciutto, mozzarella in here, and go to eat town. Go to town, <laughs> but you handmade you want one like the fresh that? focaccia. Yeah. Yeah, but without the prosciutto. Your father loves prosciutto. I know, but I'm not my father. Uh, yeah, you are. You're a lot like your father. <laughs> Don't tell me you're not like father. Oh my goodness. Truly amazing. All made by sweet Uncle Dom. I, I should have vlogged you making the bread. Looks good. Mm -mm -mm. You want something else in there besides mozzarella? No. 
Thank you. Guys, I am a mess right now. It is like pouring rain out, and this is what it looks like. <laughs> the hair is rough. I ended up getting two. Costco. Going to Costco. I ended up getting two shirts from White House. Oh my goodness. I cannot concentrate when the cereal lady talks to us. Okay. Do you want that? So I got two shirts from White House Black Market. I got like a light blue one and then a white one with some like black little design. It's cute for work. I think it'll do the job. I'm just really trying to elevate some of the shirts that I wear. I feel like I'm going through the same cycle of clothes and I need some new fits. So I'm very, very excited for summer when I can start wearing my new dresses again because those will work perfectly. And I'm glad I never got rid of them because when I left being a TV news reporter, I almost like tried to sell all the dresses. I was like, I'm never going to wear these again. No, I'm definitely still wearing them again. I wore them at the jewelry store and I'm wearing them at the new job. So I'm very glad I still have the whole closet filled with them. They come in handy, but it's tough in the winter when I have to wear boots and all those things. Cause I just, the tights and the dress, it's just too much work. They just suffocate me sometimes. I just wanna, if I'm wearing a dress, I'm wearing a dress. I don't want anything else underneath. And then, um, are you good? No. Okay. Maybe. Vlog and I'll drive. Vlog? You vlog, I'll drive. You vlog, I'll drive. I, I got distracted because I was looking and I saw a car. I am worried. I am, I am the worst passenger, okay? Um, anyway, so if I'm not wearing a normal dress, then I just need to wear my pants and a new shirt. So I'm glad I got a couple. And then I also got just some like new soaps. I really love the Bath and Body Works soaps. I also just got this like nourishing lip tint with hyaluronic acid. Okay, I'm wearing it right now. It's cute. It smells really good. I wonder if it says, let me see. What um, flavor is this one? Hmm. It's in the shade barely there. Yeah, barely there, but it's smooth. And the cashier lady, she was telling me that there, it's actually very hydrating. So I don't know, it was all 40% off. So I, this was my impulse buy of the day. I was like, I'll just get a new little lip tint and I keep it in the car or my purse. I think it just gives it that extra little, you know, but I'm not really wearing any, well, I'm not wearing any makeup right now. So probably looks a little out of place, but that's okay. It's still kind of pouring out. I hate driving in the rain in New York City because we have to pass through New York City before we get home, but we'll be all right. It'll be a-okay. And Oakley was soaking wet, little rat dog. How are you feeling? Um, good, had a good time. It's been a while since we've been out to Long Island to see the family, so it was super fun. And Dom gave us some tarals. I actually don't know what this is in English, but I think of like an Italian bread, or like, pretzel, like yeah. an Italian pretzel, yeah. But my uncle home makes them. This is like our family thing, so yum. We have a whole bag of those. We never leave without food. Seriously, we never leave without food. <laughs> Classic Italian family. Another reason I think you love me so much. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jack eats all the food. Eat. He eats munch. Okay, now that I'm home, we made it back safe. I'm gonna show you guys the two shirts I got. Just really cute work shirts. I just think this is so soft and comfy and I'm really trying to go for comfort these days. So I got two mediums and I think it came, yeah, this was not the price I paid. I think it was like 60 bucks for both of them. They did not do a military discount, that sucks. But anyways, uh, I really love the shirts. I think they're gonna be really cute with just like some black pants and my boots right now. And then obviously I'd wear like a coat or sweater or whatever it is with it, but we're back. We're making chicken nugs. Uh, we had like a very weird eating day. I still can't get over my hair, guys. I'm so sorry my hair looks like this in this whole vlog, but every time I'm with my family, I just feel like I eat way too many carbs and I feel like I just genuinely did not eat any protein today. So maybe like a little bit of the um, salami pieces or whatever, you know, the cut up ones that we had at Dom's house, but right now we're, I just need some chicken, so. I had some um, chicken nuggets, like the healthier kind from Sam's. It's in our freezer. Those are always my go-to. And so that's what's in the air fryer. Now we're gonna eat, we're gonna clean up her mess, her travel mess a little bit. I can't go to bed without it being clean. It's only like eight-ish, so it's not too bad. And then we're gonna wake up and have a great Sunday morning. <laughs> Sunday guys. I forgot to tell you we never ended up going to Costco yesterday because when we got there it was closed 
so we built up this whole Costco trip like we were gonna make it on the way home from Long Island and literally never went so now we are driving 38 minutes to Connecticut to go to Costco because we had it in our head I really want to go to Costco so that's today's adventure we went to the gym this morning had ourselves a little morning and now back to the basics back to Costco $243 later we are uh, done with Costco love to see it we got a lot of good things I'm so excited I've missed Costco so so much and I'm very excited for our next couple weeks with our snacks we got chomps the best thing ever we also got some coconut water some chicken sausages chicken patties for dinner um, we got some oikos just a lot of random things that we needed I feel like it was very expensive, but it was a lot of like restocking. All right, guys, the Costco haul is looking too good to not share. So here it is. Everything's laid out so nicely. First up, we got our favorite coffee. Ugh, I've missed this kind. It's just like the generic Kirkland one, but so good. We also stocked up on olive oil. I don't really have a preference, but we were just there and we needed some more. So we got that. We are also trying to switch to like avocado oil spray. So there was a pack of two. Picked up those. Got some RX bars. These are super healthy, super clean. And I love the chocolate sea salt one. Jack likes the blueberry. We, I bet you I'm gonna eat all the chocolate ones. He's gonna eat the blueberry ones because I like the chocolate more. Just some fruit. The strawberries were looking nice. Ugh. Again, chomps obsessed. Just the best thing ever. It's a perfect like midday snack. And we also got some Oikos. Um, these are new. I've never had these. I will report back. They look amazing. The macros are great. Just wanted some chicken burgers. Random, but I needed socks. I like this K-Bell brand. They always do me good. Got my favorite chicken strips. Jack got his mahi-mahi. Ew, I won't be eating that. Um, he also wanted some liquid IV, so we picked those up. Uh, they had the samples for these. Um, the pina colada and cucumber mojito. I haven't tried the cucumber one, but I did not like the pina colada flavor. He did, though, so that's why we got it. Um, this is for Easter. I just loved the bow, but look at how amazing this looks. Oh, so good. Cinnamon swirl butter cake. Can't wait to warm that up, but I, I literally got this because of this pink bow. So that's what sold me on it. And then last but not least, we got some organic coconut water. This one is amazing. I tried this at my brother's house in Texas like last year and it's so good. No sugar added, not from concentrate. And this whole big box was like 10 bucks. So I'm excited to bring these to work this week. So this is the haul. We still gotta go to like one more store, but we're keeping the meal prep real easy this week. I'm going back to my bowls. I'm gonna go get some string beans, some Brussels, do some chicken sausage, though, and then rice. That's just the easiest lunch. I just love something that I can take one thing and then put it in the microwave and that's it. I don't have to worry about anything else. I've been prepping some berries. Um, I'll probably start taking some oikos with me um, as well as a chomps. But yeah, we're just really trying to keep it simple. We kind of impulse oh i just almost dropped this we impulse bought these chicken burgers i really hope they're good but we're probably gonna put a bun and then some like greens next to it or some um they make like the broccoli um not oh my gosh not like french fries it's like broccoli tater tots you guys know what i'm talking about I'll, we're gonna get them at walmart here shortly so i think that's how we're gonna pair that meal together but we're going away on friday we're gonna be gone for the weekend we're going to visit alicia for her birthday so we really only need to prep through like friday lunchtime and then we're flying to Florida, flying back Sunday morning, and then we're gonna do Easter at my aunt's house. So that is why we got the cake. Guys, I'm just obsessed with this bow. Literally, can you believe this? I bought this because of this bow, but it was cute. And honestly, cinnamon swirl butter cake sounds amazing. So we're gonna eat well to enjoy Easter. But yeah, this is the haul. On another note, I am trying to make our save the dates. That's been a big project. I have not yet finished that. Um, I went on to Minted. This is not sponsored by any way, by any means. Um, and they sent over, like you can put your email in your address or whatever, and it's free. And they send you like a bunch of examples of save the dates, wedding invitations, um, the colors they have, um, like stationary formats, the thickness of the paper. And this is so helpful because I just, I still don't know what the heck to pick. I don't even know if I'm going to go with Minted, the company. I just kind of just picked one and here I am trying out their, some of their free stuff. <laughs> so it came in this super cute box. So sweet, your big day begins here. And then it has like a bunch of different like 
tabs for how to start. Um, it shows you like all the paper. The thick paper is like real thick, guys. I can't even, <laughs> I can't even bend this. And then they just sent over some really sweet examples. And this is one of the examples we were looking at, like with this font and stuff. Um, I don't know if I like, like, it, this is more pink. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't know if I like the background, but it's nice to just feel it and hold it. Um, I also like love this floral design. This one is the thick. Can you guys see how thick this is? It's like extra thick paper, but yeah, it's just nice to see all the examples. I don't know if I like this one. It's just a little rounded for me. And then more just wedding invitations. I, okay, look at how cute this um, envelope is. When you open it, it has the design on it. A little extra, but it's cute. But I love the classic look. The fonts, very sweet. So thank you, Minted, for sending me this. This is very, very nice and helpful. I need to get on it. I posted on my Instagram story, like which one should I pick? And everyone said number four, that's just the classic, like something like this, where it's just one photo. And then on the back, you can put a photo too. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking just the one photo on the front, one photo on the back, and then just keeping it like simple, classic, timeless. But the problem is we have so many good pictures from our engagement shoot. And it's like, which one do we pick? So I think I know in my heart, which one I want to put on there. Jack and I have decided on like the two main photos. So yeah, we'll see. Now we just need to collect everyone's address and then get that on there. And it's a whole process. I feel like no one prepares you for how much wedding planning is involved and in, in getting to the special day. So I'm excited to see our invitations come to life though. And I'm excited to use this coupon because these things get expensive. They gave me like a little 15% off. Love that for me. I'm going to be using a coupon for some of this stuff. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, I probably won't have my save the dates picked out by the time this vlog is live on Wednesday. Classic me, so let me know. And this is the last of the meal prep for the week. We went to Walmart, got most of the greens we'll be having, as well as my favorite chicken sausage. I eat these literally every day for lunch. This is the sausage that I show you guys like almost every week with the greens and stuff. So I'm changing the greens to broccoli and still sticking to my Brussels. I know a lot of you guys commented saying you don't love Brussels, but it is what it is. We're going to have this tonight, like almost like a hamburger helper kind of meal. So just some bonza with lean ground beef. And then Jack's doing something for his lunch. We're having different lunches this week. So like an Asian stir fry. And then I got these for the chicken um, burgers that we have. So zucchini tots. I haven't tried that one yet, but these ones I know are really great. The veggie tots, amazing. My classic coffee creamer. I've heard so many things that this is actually bad for you. So I am on a hunt to find some new creamer. If you guys have any recs, let me know. Um, and then we picked up an Olipop on the way out and Jack got a kombucha. I dislike kombucha, but it is what it is. But yeah, this is the rest of the haul. We are finally done. Now we just gotta start meal prepping. This is dinner, the easiest dinner ever. It's literally like hamburger helper, but healthier. First taste, first bite, good. We had the creamiest milk that we put in this. It literally had chunks. I had to look, I could not look at it because I was kind of grossed out. So I'm hoping this tastes good and I'm hoping I can erase the chunky milk from my memory, but. That's a good chunk. <laughs> he did, this boy just drank all the chunks. That was gross. Um, nice. But yeah, this is an easy meal. All we did was like brown some ground beef and put together some bonza mac and cheese and amazing, super easy, super healthy. Lots of protein. Meals are half prepped for the week. I make two of them at a time because that's how the chicken sausages come. So just so they're like a little more fresh. So that's a better view of it. And then I have my berries, which I'll probably pair with an oikos. And then I'll do a chomp stick as well. But I also have some prepped for Jack. We have some pineapple for him. We have some extra ground beef. Just, yeah, this is the fridge for now. I just like to make sure I have things prepped at least two days in advance so that way I'm just grabbing and going in the morning. It helps so much. I just finished writing all my bridesmaid proposal card boxes things. Again, I will be sharing more of this in another upcoming vlog. Not sure if it'll be the next one or the one after that just because it really all depends when all this gets sent to them. Um, but yeah. I'm tired. I wrote a lot of them. <laughs> my hand hurts. I haven't like I feel like I don't write handwrite things often anymore aside from like when i was writing letters to jack over the summer but it was like just to jack not to like all my friends and family you know what i mean so yeah i need to get a move on editing but i probably will do that tomorrow monday and then we're watching bachelor it's a bachelor finale tomorrow 
Um, but aside from that, that's pretty much gonna be this vlog. I don't think I'm gonna include much more just because I'm tired of like stress editing these vlogs before like Tuesday night. I feel like I'm always up just trying to stress edit this thing. So yeah, it's just balance on me trying to figure out my new work schedule, working out, like all the things. It's just, it's just different, you know? So anyways, thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed my, I guess, two day vlog because it really started, yes, two days ago-ish. So yeah, let me know what you'd like to see more of, what you love, what you don't love. You can leave it all in the comments below. Hope you have a great rest of your week. I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.